Are you gonna tell me where you went? All the messages I sent with no reply It's like that You're just gonna walk into my Hello my stars, welcome back to my channel, Goddess of Stars Tarot. If you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's your girl, Karen. And I am so excited to welcome my stars back to my channel. I do wanna let you know this is a general love reading. This reading may or may not resonate with all of my stars, so take what does and leave the rest. If this reading does not resonate, please check with your sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements. Also, the energies or the roles in my readings may be interchangeable or reversed, so apply yourself as you see fit. Don't forget, if this reading does resonate, don't forget to support your girl by clicking like, share, subscribe, and clicking the all option when you click the bell to get future notifications so you can know when your girl will be uploading another video all right how are you guys doing i hope you guys are doing fabulous we are going to get down to the nitty-gritty we're going to see what is coming in here towards you in the month of march as far as your person's feelings you know what transpired and will they be contacting you in the month of march so if you are dealing with a virgo or you have a virgo on your mind we are going to tap in and see what is going to transpire in this connection all right for the month of march so before we get started we are going to pull one card from these two decks here to see what energies is coming through for you guys as far as any advice from spirit and also too what is going to happen between you and your person overall okay so we're going to get some energies okay from this deck we're going to get one card each so you're going to want to stick around to the end because we are going to see why these energies are here so as you can see i cannot see them myself so we're going to put those down face flat and we are going to find out what messages that spirit has for you in regards to this reading. Let's get one card. This is sticking out to me. So we're going to lay that flat there as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and tap into these energies and see what transpire between you and your Virgo and if they will be contacting you. All right, so let's tap in. Calling on my ancestors and spirit guides, the sun, moon, rising, and Venus to the highest light for the purest good. What's the energy here surrounding the collective for my Aquarians who are dealing with a Virgo? What's the energy here? What's the energy here? Let's get some energies for the past, the present, and what is going to transpire in the month of March for my Aquarians dealing with a Virgo. All right, interesting, interesting to start. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so we have the strength card, we have the king of wands, we have the nine of swords, okay? We have in the present, we have the queen of pentacles, we have the high priestess, and we have the chariot. In the month of March, we got the three of pentacles, we got the emperor, and we have the ace of swords. All right, so let's tap into these energies and see what transpired or what will transpired. And then we have the page of wands at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so with the strength card, and we will clarify, guys. So with the strength card, the king of wands and the nine of swords, okay? So in the past, I do feel like this situation needed compassion, it needed kindness, it needed understanding is the energy here with the king of wands um this person could have been very controlling um is the energy here someone was definitely controlling or had a high ego is the energy coming through in this reading with the nine of swords um energy this speaks of being trapped you know in your thoughts about something okay especially at night okay someone could have definitely had a lot of feelings towards their person is the energy here okay with this nine of swords energy definitely speaks of being in your head being stuck um could have gone through some type of you know depression here is the energy here um you know definitely having this person on your mind suffering in silence not ex expressing how you truly feel holding back how you truly feel towards your person or maybe this person was holding back how they truly feel towards you is the energy here clarify the um nine of swords why is the nine of swords here we have the ace of cups i feel like you love this person okay um there was a lot of arguments that at the bottom of the deck we got the five of wands so that speaks of chaos that speaks of arguments that speaks of not being able to communicate it could also mean competition in the situation like maybe this person had a lot of competition here look at the next card right after that is the queen of swords that's your energy so coming very cold and detached from this person um is the energy here because of what transpired between you and them definitely was on your mind um is the energy here like i said with the five of wands that speaks of conflict okay 
okay maybe you guys argued a lot and maybe it had a lot to do with this person starting a new relationship um is the energy that's coming through in the reading clarify the five of wands why is the five of wands here clarify the five of wands what's the energy behind thank you thank you thank you we have the three of wands okay i feel like you were waiting for this person to do something Okay, maybe you were waiting for this person to commit to you is the energy here. We do have the King of Swords showing up here at the bottom of the deck. You know, someone who was very um, strong minded, I feel like is the energy here. Maybe they were waiting for you to commit is the energy coming through. But with the King of Swords, this is someone who's very logical. Okay, very um, detached type of energy. I do feel like you could have been dating, dating someone or dealing with someone in the past that has some type of, you know, authority ranking could be a police officer, um, could be um, a lawyer lawyer could be um, someone who's in the military is the energy coming through here but I feel like you were waiting for this person or you they were waiting for you almost like waiting for something to happen here why is the strength card here clarify the strength card why is the strength card here clarify let's see what this is we got the queen of wands okay so very strong energy with this queen of wands the five of cups at the bottom of the deck so I feel like because we do have the queen of wands and the king of wands here so I do feel like you know, someone here felt like you guys were a match made in heaven, whether that's you or that's them is the energy with the five of cups. This speaks of feeling unloved, unappreciated in the situation. Um, it feels like, you know, an energy that someone is definitely heartbroken over some things that transpired here. Let me see, clarify further. Why is the queen of wands in the strength card here? Why is the queen of wands in the strength card here? Clarify further, clarify further. Maybe someone felt like they needed to talk up. What's the energy here? We got the page of pentacles coming through. So the strength card, the queen of wands, the strength card, the queen of wands and the page of pentacles. Now, with this page of pentacles, this speaks of going in a different direction. This speaks of an energy of, you know, um, taking a different path in life with the page of wands energy. Um, it could mean new opportunities coming in here towards you. It definitely could mean, you know, something to do with finance. Maybe tarot is the energy here because the queen of wands is someone who is very intuitive as well. Um, maybe you're following your intuition as far as, you know, to go in a different direction is the energy from the past. Uh, with the three of wands and the king of wands, though, let me clarify the energy. Why is the three of wands clarifying the king of wands? I feel like you're, you are waiting for something or they were waiting for something is the energy here why is this energy here clarify further why is this energy here let's get one card let's see this is standing out to me we got the six of one um six of wands coming through here this speaks of being recognized in the situation okay maybe this person did not um give you the appreciation that you deserve because we got the empress at the bottom of the deck okay which is also earth energy so maybe this person didn't recognize you or give you the recognition that you deserve maybe they were so head over heart or maybe more focused on you know themselves their work um is the energy i feel a very um cold energy between the two of you is almost like you guys cared about each other but it was a very detached type of um romance is the energy that i'm seeing here okay almost like this person didn't show you that they cared enough they didn't they didn't um recognize the empress that you are you know is the energy i feel like this broke your heart this person could have chosen things over you you know made you feel like an option but i'm feeling a very um you know uh what's the word i'm looking for this person was just very detached um is the energy that i'm seeing okay you wanted more from this person like more emotions um from this person is the energy that i'm seeing but it just led to arguments you you kept telling this person you wanted them to love you and they just weren't hearing you in the present we have the queen of pentacles the high priestess and we got the chariot so i do feel like um you know with this high priestess it could mean that you guys are um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You're following your intuition or you're overcoming some type of, you know, secret here between you and your person or some type of secret comes to light because with the chariot card, this speaks of overcoming obstacles is the energy. So I do feel like something to do with overcoming something. Why is the high priestess here? Why is the high priestess here? Clarify. Why is the high priestess here? What's the energy behind the high priestess? Thank you. We have the ace of wands. Okay, so this definitely speaks of new beginnings. It speaks of new passions. Look at this, the Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So this speaks of new love. Maybe a secret came to light here. Maybe this person was dating someone new. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Let's see what the energy is here. I feel like that represents your person. We have the Four of Wands, okay? So this person could be coming back in here. We got the Judgment card, okay? With the Judgment card, that could mean an apology wanting to come in here. We do have the Two of Swords, so that speaks of indecisiveness, feeling like you're at a crossroads. I feel like this person 
look, your Virgo, I feel like your Virgo is now in a space where they're contemplating on coming back in here towards you with the Ace of Wands and the Knight of Cups. It speaks of following your intuition and situations, almost like, you know, clarity, um, come is, is this person is becoming more awakened in the situation is the energy here um i do feel like this person wants to um start something here with you clarify the chariot i feel like this is them rushing in look at this we have the wheel and then we got the queen of per pentacles this is your person okay your virgo wanting to come back in here towards you they're having a change of heart okay all of a sudden having some type of epiphany maybe one now wanting to come back in here and value you is the energy here um in the uh for the month of month we got month of march we got the three of pentacles the emperor and then we got the ace of swords this speaks of mental clarity the emperor speaks of someone who is very strategic takes charge in situations um still that same controlling type of energy though okay uh, with the three of pentacles i feel like that's my coming together card collaborating with someone partnerships i do feel like this person wants to come back in and work something out with you in the month of march clarify the three of pentacles why is the three of pentacles here clarify the energy let's see what this is this is standing out to me we have the nine of cups and we have the nine of swords that's that suffer suffering and silence energy coming through here in the bottom of the deck the page of wands that's piece of communication i feel like this person's going to come back in here towards you and they're going to want to work something something out with you is the energy that's coming through for me okay clarify the emperor why is the emperor here why is the emperor energy here clarify the emperor why is the emperor energy here clarify further what's the emperor i felt like i had the card there but it, it i pushed it back in there we go there we go let's take it we have the page of swords coming through here that speaks of delayed communication but someone is definitely watching you is the energy okay i feel like this person is going to come in this person is needing to you know have the courage to come in here and say whatever it is that they need to say uh that could mean you're watching them is the energy here as well with the four of cups this speaks of someone feeling unfulfilled um in a situation could have other options or it doesn't necessarily have to be options as far as other people in their lives, but it could be options as far as, you know, opportunities. Maybe you're busy with work. Maybe you're busy with kids. Whatever the case may be, you have things going on in your life, okay? But someone here is feeling rejected is the energy as well, okay? But I do feel like whoever this person is, they are watching you from a distance and they are wanting to communicate as the energy. Look at that, the Eight of Wands, okay? Um, I do feel like this person is wanting to communicate. Clarify the Ace of Swords. It's almost like they have now coming through with some type of epiphany and look what we have we have the chariot this person is coming in here towards you um very strongly it's almost like they are now realizing you know what they had um from the past okay so this person will be reaching out to you we got the page of wands showing up here um as well so there is communication coming in here towards you if it hasn't already you are going to receive some type of apology is the energy that i'm seeing let's go ahead and see the overall energy for the reading all right we have do it for you sundress is the energy here so whatever it is that you are going through or you are wanting to channel this is an energy of doing it for yourself here no matter what it is that you've gone through in your life okay um anything that you are doing do it for yourself do it for your inner peace your inner um growth but also do it for your own happiness do not do anything because someone else wants you to do it is the energy that is surrounding you here okay um be your own you create your own happiness is the energy i'm seeing mountains here so this speaks of overcoming obstacles the four and the one for me is five so uh, well five for anyone but four and one is five so for me this card speaks of as well something unexpected is going to happen okay but this this comes in towards you after you felt defeated is the energy here but i feel like the spirit guys is telling you do what's best for you do it for you not for any anyone else we have the no card coming through here the answer to your question is no okay so whatever the question that you had um the answer to that question is no so i don't know if you are going to take this person back but i do feel like you know this is an energy where someone is going to come back in here i feel like your virgo is going to come back in here and communicate with you but that's going to be completely up to you you got to keep in mind with tarot nothing set in stone everyone has willpower so that's going to be completely up to you you if you are going to take this person back or not because we do have the four of cups showing up here as well that speaks of having things going on but someone is still refusing to move forward okay is the energy here so it could be communication coming in here towards you or maybe this person is hiding behind that is the energy here but i do feel like eventually 
they will overcome it. There's going to be some type of aha moment or epiphany that is going to happen here with the Ace of Swords and the Chariot, okay? All right, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Till next time, bye. I guess you're back. Are you going to tell me where you went? All the messages I sent with no reply.